Pickett's one of those guys, you want to feel good about the guy. He seems to be always injured one way or the other. But when he's on the field, you see the potential. But you've heard the story that's come out now that he was not very happy about not being a starter. So apparently he refused to be the uh, the second string. What are you hearing about this? Because if this is true, Wayne, I think Pickett's days are done in uh, Pittsburgh. I I have not heard absolute confirmation of that. But if it is true, especially with a guy like Mike Tomlin in the Steelers organization, yeah, I, the problem is, is if you're going to pull that kind of crap, you'd better be Terry Bradshaw. You'd better be uh, Bubby Brister. No, not Bubby Brister, but you know, you better be somebody bigger than Kenny Pickett is right now to be able to pull that off. You shouldn't pull it at, at any point, right? But it also doesn't look great when the crowd chants for Mason Rudolph and then he delivers. He comes oh, did in and he? Looks, did he ever? He looks pretty damn good all of a sudden in this offense. The offense is humming a little bit. And, you know, they're talking about, is Pickett going to play in week 18? Why would he? Why would you play him? Why would you screw with the chemistry you have right now? Right? So I, I, I wasn't sold on Pickett when they took him. I kind of thought, I wasn't sold on George Pickens either, but I like Pickens okay, right? But Kenny Pickett, I kind of thought, you know, I don't know. I, I get the appeal, especially from where he's from and all that kind of stuff. But I just don't know that this guy is going to really be anything anything amazing, right? He just looks like a guy to me more than anything else. And he may not, if Mason Rudolph can come in and run your team the way that he has for the last couple of weeks, Kenny, Pay not, Kenny Pickett might not even be just a guy. He might not be a guy at all. 